All right, what's going on? Right now, I'm going to break down another client result. I'm gonna bring it up right now so I can look at it and so I can explain it to you step by step by step. Are you ready? Are you ready for this shit? What is going on? There we go. All right, I'll see you in a second. So here is what you see. Daniel's results. Let's break it down step by step. He said, I want to share this story. Today I went to the recreational center gym. I wore myself up by shooting a few basketball shots. I went and asked one guy if you want to play two versus two. He said, no, I'm just practicing my shot right now. I said, all right. Another guy came to me and said, I played against you the other day. You're really good, you got all the post moves. I laughed and said, yeah, me and this guy have found two other guys and we played against them. In the end, I destroyed them every time we played two versus two. Okay, so the first thing I, I wanna say here about Daniel is he is so real. He doesn't filter what he says before he says it. He is so real. And this, this is why I fucking love him. This is why I love him so, so real. Um, and we're gonna get to why this is important um, and why this is beneficial to Daniel in just a second. The last part of this text said, it felt good going to the basketball court and playing games against other people. Before this program, I would not initiate any conversation. Now I want to start up a conversation with anyone to test out my basketball skills. So, what allowed Daniel to go from a point where he couldn't initiate a conversation with anyone to now being able to speak to anyone and play basketball with them. Go, go ask, hey, do you, want to, do you want to play basketball? There's two main things that come to my mind that I wrote down, that I took notes, that I want to share with you, that will give you the ability to also get these types of results, all right? So, the very first thing that Daniel has or has done or has created in his life that allowed him to overcome this fear of speaking to new people, being a person who stutters, is Daniel completely honors his uniqueness. He sees there's there's nothing wrong with his un nothing wrong with his uniqueness. Nothing at all. And in by doing so, it allows other people to see that about him too. I fucking love Daniel because of how authentic he is, because how he doesn't filter before speaking. But he used to not be able to speak to anyone and go and approach them because the filters were too strong. But now, having worked on his stutter, having changed the way he feels about his stutter and seeing stuttering is actually a good thing, and actually believing it, this allows him to no longer hold back at all. At all, why would you hold back if stuttering is a good thing? To change that mindset is to change everything. And that is something Daniel has done very, 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 very fucking well, all right? That's the first thing that Daniel has, is he's completely honoring his uniqueness. He's com completely accepting who he is and showing it to the world, knowing to the world, knowing that some people will dislike it and that's okay. But some people will absolutely fucking love it. He will have opposing sides. And that's the way true, that's, that's the way you have to be to overcome your stutter, is to be so fucking polarizing because you're so fucking authentically you and not hiding it. And um, that's what even makes Daniel a bit egotistical. When he, when he says, I beat everyone in, um, 
I beat everyone in 2v2. I was better than them all or something like that. Um, he doesn't have a filter. Like he says what he what he thinks, and he can learn from from that after he says it. Like, okay, that was wrong to say. Okay, that was my ego popping in. Blah blah blah. But he still doesn't filter. He goes with how he feels. And although a lot of people may not like that, I really respect that, and I really admire that about someone when they're truly being their authentic fucking selves. That's the first thing. He's He's accepted all. The second thing Dan, Daniel has done is he's actually taken specific actions over and over and over and over again. Not complicated actions, simple actions with consistency. So his mind now sees there is no reason to hide. There is no reason to hold back. There is no reason to fear the stutter because that is not what causes the pain. It's not the stutter that causes the pain. It's all the fear, it's all the anxiety, it's all the doubt, it's all the shame. And taking simple steps over and over and over and over and over again. One second, am I still recording? I am. <laughs> over and over and over and over again allows his brain to change and view his stutter differently, view his authenticity differently. And these steps aren't something that can be, that just works for Daniel, or just works for Josh in my last breakdown, or just works for Robert in my last breakdown as, as well. These steps work for you as well. If you have a stutter and you want to overcome it, and you feel like you're giving too much power to other people's opinions of you, and you're having a lot of anxiety, you're having a lot of doubt, and you can't stop anticipating your, your future speaking interactions, you, you, you're, no, you're no longer present in the interactions because you're caring too much about what they think of you, trying to please them, trying to prove yourself, trying to be perfect, trying not to stutter. If this is you, this was Daniel, this was Josh, this was everybody in my program. But there's simple steps you need to take over and over and over again with consistency for a few weeks in order to transform your fucking life. And you may think this sounds too good to be true, but this is just because you have been doing the wrong steps before. You have been listening to speech therapy. You have been learning speech techniques. You haven't been addressing the real root issues that are really holding you back. So once you address those, the sky's the limit. And if you also want to address them, if you want to overcome your stutter, just like Daniel, just like everybody inside my program right now, <clears throat> about by the time you're, you're, this is up, uploaded, you can join about eight or 10 people who stutter right now going through this journey with you um, if, if you want the opportunity to see if you would be a good fit, to see if we could work together based upon your goals and based upon your situation, then look at the closest link down below in the description and we can book a call, we can talk, me and you, one on one, and see if you would be a good fit for the program. So, let's hop on a call. I love you. Namaste.